Hallo zu The Wolf Among Us mit mir, dem Maru, der natürlich den super Wortwitz ganz am Anfang schon verpasst hat. Klar, Big B Wolf. <lacht> natürlich. Ja, weiter im Spiel. Wir sind noch hier am Anfang. Jetzt hat das Spiel begonnen. Da ist eine Tür. Da ist eine Plakette. Gucken wir uns eine Plakette an. Luxury Apartments. Luxuriöse Apartments. Er wünscht, sie würden das nicht so sagen, weil das sind bestimmt keine. Das sind Fabeln kreiert von Billy Willingham. Tür schlägt zu. Man soll runter vom Gras gehen, natürlich. Nach rechts und links können wir nicht ausweichen, wir können durch die Tür gehen, das heißt wir gehen auch direkt durch. Wer ist da im Busch? There's no walking on the grass, no white's orders. She made a sign and everything. I'll be sure to send her an apology. Beauty. Hello, Big B. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd, but there's an explanation. Why'd you hide when I walked up? Well, I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. No, you can't. Damn it, I'm late. <laughs> okay, also Schneewittchen, uh... Die Chefin von allem. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Sure. You promise? I promise. Thank you, Big B. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. Und das ist die Schöne, auch die Schöne des Beast, und die ist anscheinend gerade. Thank you. Trusting me. Really, I I appreciate it, Big B. Die gerade das Biest betrügt. Und wir haben versprochen, dem Biest nichts davon zu sagen. Jetzt Schneewittchen ist hier die Chefin, die böse Stiefmutter sozusagen. Das klingt seltsam. Okay, der Wachmann ist natürlich am Schlafen. Kurbelmann. So, wir haben hier die Mails. Gucken wir mal erstmal nach Briefen. Oh, ob wir bellen müssen, wenn der Postbote kommt? Been a while since I got any mail. <lacht> Egal, einfach mal auf. Seventh day in a row. Schade. Was war hier? Beast, Mr. und Mrs. Beast. Mal gucken, was haben wir noch so? F. Catcher, B. Blue, J. Honor. Hm. Sagt mir jetzt alles nichts. Okay, wir, ja den, wir können mit ihm reden oder wir können jetzt mal die Statue angucken. Beziehungsweise die Rüstung. Flycatcher needs to dust this guy. Ist Flycatcher vielleicht hier das tapfere Schneiderlein? <lacht> Der schläft. Hey. Hey, you wink. Grimble. Probably for the best. Wer könnte Grimble sein? Das Problem ist, die äh, englische Bezeichner für die ganzen Märchen, die wir kennen, sind immer nicht ganz die gleichen. Wie Red Riding Hood für Rotkäffchen ist ein bisschen schwer äh, quasi zu wissen, wenn man es nicht weiß. <lacht> Einfach mit dem Fahrstuhl nach oben. Ah, schön, sogar mit animierten Fahrstuhlzeiger. Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? 
Have you seen Beauty? Beauty and the Beast. Nope. Haven't seen her. Oh. Okay. Sorry to bother you. Damn it. Something's going on. Oh, it's too much light angle on some. Verdammt. Big B's apartment in Fabletown. Okay, wollen nicht angerufen werden. Was für eine Nacht, tatsächlich. Wir können den Kühlschrank öffnen oder den ähm, Gefrierschrank. Guck mal, mein Gefrierschrank. Eiswürfel! Yay! Ah. Nee. Unsere letzten 50 Dollar an dieses arme Mädchen da gegeben. Immerhin Ketchup und Bier. Wichtigen Dinge des Lebens. Äh, was hier so ein Ordner für Bluebeard. Bluebeard. Welchen Märchen kommt der denn? Hm. Papa Schlumpf? Äh, nein. Ich glaube nicht. Hm. Ich glaube, mich jetzt nicht in die Fabeln reinzugucken, aber da müsste ich sie vorlesen. Okay, unser Gedächtnis wird schon schwächer. This still works. Oh. Ja, er geht noch. Ach, guck mal. Unser Hausschwein. Use Colin. Oh, hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? I'm tired, Colin. It's been a long day. It's been three kinds of swine, this swine. Ah, Bildungslücke. Got a smoke? Thanks. A couple thousand more of these will be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Big B. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Calm down. I'm not sending you back. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh, it would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. <laughs> uh, na, come here. Also, ich trinke ein. <laughs> Nice. Oops. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates hey, you. Hey, hey, das habe ich nicht so gemeint. It wasn't murder. I was hungry. Yeah, well, I'm hungry now. You don't see me tearing the flesh off of your bones. But you would if you could. Probably. But uh, no, um, hates the wrong word. 
they fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables? Sometimes I take them to the farm. Fuck you. <laughs> okay, it's really nice with the three You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Mm, not everyone. Name one. I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't make Just give sense. me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window and... I want to get in two seconds of shut-eye before I... Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. In him, Colin. Thanks, Big B. Ich muss sagen, der Humor gefällt mir. <lacht> also generell hat das Schwein erzählt, dass viele Fabelwesen ihn immer noch hassen oder fürchten. Weil Unmengen äh, durch ihn gestorben sind. Und das Schwein selber möchte natürlich sein Haus zurückgezahlt haben, was der böse Wolf umgepustet hat. Und das ist natürlich jetzt unsere liebe Freundin. Schwarzkäppchen. Big B. Snow? Come with me. Oh, oh. Beauty. Snow. Snow. What? Sorry, I'm... What is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to... Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> Yeah. Ron Weasley. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Okay, aber ich denke, das hat was mit Beauty and the Beast zu tun. Der Wachmann? Nö. Nee. Oh, ich muss ja die Hände ran lassen, den kriegst du immer, wenn's. Okay, Jacke. This girl is 
She's not a Mundi, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. She looks familiar. A working girl? A working girl? I don't... I mean, I'm a working... Oh. The woodsman. He attacked her, I stepped in. Then he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just... give me a second. It's just... terrible. So... who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then... I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of... us... do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. Okay. Warum gerade sie? Okay. Hm. Hat was im Mund stecken. What is? Guck mal den Rest an. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? Strange cut. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp or something with magic attached to it. Die Hexe von Oz. It's her ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Huh. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what... what do you want to do next? Uh, suchen, natürlich. We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Okay. Reden wir mit Snow? Dann gucken wir uns erstmal um. Diese Blutspur interessiert mich nämlich. Hm, wer könnte das getan haben? Colin? Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour maybe. Nein, das Schwein war es nicht. Das Schwein ist kein Schwein. No signs that it's been here long. Nehmen wir es mal mit. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Aber erstmal. Noch mehr Blut. Yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, then left the trail I found earlier. Just some loose trash. Hmm. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Okay. Also hier ist er anscheinend rein, beziehungsweise wieder raus. Ich würde sagen, mehr rein. Ist dann hier hingelaufen. Und hat ähm, die Leiche hier platziert. Können wir in die andere Richtung noch weitergehen? Oh, interessant. Hm. Okay, er bleibt da stehen, wo wir gehalten haben, aber hier hinten ist da nichts mehr. Im Gras ist auch nichts. 
Hm. Wahrscheinlich mit Beauty dasselbe passiert. Äh, was? Achso, ne, das war sie nicht. Alle außer sie. Das wäre zu unsinnig. Hm. Nobody there. Schön, wir sind ein Wolf. Wir sollten das riechen. Ich würde ja gerne dahin gucken, wo vorhin Beauty war. Aber ich glaube, da kommen wir jetzt gerade nicht hin. Ne, dann können wir mit dir reden. Wir können ja erstmal vergleichen. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. Ist nicht ihr Stoff, sag ich doch. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Bigby, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Why her? This is a message. A message? I don't know, Bigby. I get complaints at the office all the time, but... Just what about this makes you think that? Whoever did this isn't exactly hiding it. The placement of the head? It's exact. Purposeful. She was placed here precisely for us to find. All of us. Well... Yes. I guess you're right. The killer wanted us to know what they had done. I'm gonna have to talk Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. Ich finde auch, wir sollten mit ihm reden direkt. I don't like him, but he's our boss. This is part of the job. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Okay, also unsere Theorie ist, dass dieser Kopf hier als Nachricht für uns alle platziert wurde, um uns für irgendwas zu warnen oder also irgendeine Tätigkeit uns aufzuhalten, uns zu drohen. Oh, Oliver Twist. Why you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I know. I'm taking cuts. Is that supposed to be funny? <laughs> you see anyone here laughing, Sheriff? Fucker. Yes, I see. I, I... You, because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes. Of course I Don't do. interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. If anyone's to blame, it's me. You don't need to be yelling at her. Oh, your role in this is duly noted. Yes, let's talk about that. Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Yeah. Her pimp. Her... was she a... Yeah. She was worried about a money situation. Well, this is just wonderful. Not only is a fable killed, but it was a fable hooker to boot. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes, sir. Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. 
And where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't oh, bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. <laughs> Sign a hush. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You know what? Stop. <laughs> we'll get on it right away, sir. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. Wine to a massage? Probably a gift. The weird part of that is that he's actually being nice to someone. I know I bought that damn bottle. Who? Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Okay. Unser nächstes Ziel ist es herauszufinden, wer die liebe Dame war, der wir geholfen haben und die dann grausam ermordet auf unserer Türschwelle lag. Mal sehen, ob wir es in der nächsten Folge herausfinden können. Bis dahin. Tschüss.